Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS on the new Soul Calibur 6 game. Uh, you don't have a lot of options in this game. Uh, the game feels a bit like a console game, and it's not a bad port, but it's not an awesome port, port too. So, uh, first of all, we will start with the graphics setting games, and after that, we will go in the config file. We have a couple stuff that we can change that you will not see in the game. So, first of all, I'm playing this game in full HD. Really important to say the game is like at 60 FPS. So if you have an high refresh rate, even if you uh, put your VSync at off, you will not see more than 60 FPS. Window mode, I'm playing without a border, so this is full screen. You will see if you use the, uh, the other mode settings, uh, you will lose FPS in this game. So 3 to 4, depending what you're using. So use full screen. VSync, honestly, you can put it at on or off doesn't matter it's not like you will see some input lag but i always play off when i <laughs> play a game screen quality put this one at custom because you want to change everything else here uh because if you put like high low medium everything will be locked so make sure that you're using custom scaling resolution this one is more like a last resort thing after all the changes that i will show you if you still don't have, have your 60 you can uh, lower a little bit your scaling resolution something like 95 or even 90 but you will see a big decrease in your image quality so uh, i recommend to change your display resolution first and after that scaling resolution so don't play full hd play something like 720p uh, in this game a bit, it's a bit weird when i put my ntl easing setting at low the game looks more clean so it's less blurry so right now i'm putting this one at low and you will gain a lot of fps because anti-aliasing is taking a lot of resources so this one put this one at low post processing i'm playing at high i don't have any issue honestly i'm getting my 60 easily with my 1070 but for sure if you have like a, a laptop and integrate video card stuff like that you have to lower this one and uh, you will gain maybe two to three percent for each bracket Shadow really important, you will gain a lot of FPS with this one, it takes a lot of resources in the game, so uh, it depends on what, we're gonna, what uh, computer that you have, but you will probably gain 8% of gain if you go high to low, so this one really important. Texture, uh, this one is not really important, it depends on the VRAM on your video card, so if you have something 3 gig and more, you can even play at maximum, honestly. Uh, if you have 2 gig, play something like high medium, and if you have less than 2 gig, play at low. FX setting, so uh, visual effect, particle effect. This one can take a lot of resources too uh, when you fight. It's more to, to get like stable FPS when you're fighting. Uh, again, it's 60 FPS, so in my particular case, I don't have any issue with it. But uh, if you're seeing that when you fight, you're losing a lot of FPS, you're going to 50, 45, lower this one and you will gain more FPS. After that, we will go in the config file. In the config file, go in your uh, C drive user the name of your computer app data to see the app data really important you need to see uh, your hidden file in windows local soul calibur 6 saved config windows no editor the first file that we want to edit is the game user file here you have all the setting that um, you did in the game so uh, everything is there but you have one more that you can change is the foliage quality so flower and stuff like that uh, put this one at one and you will gain a lot of fps again if you have your 60 don't touch it but if you're still struggling this one can help you the other thing that i recommend is the scalability uh, this file is empty normally but uh, you will need to add this comment okay so first of all the process quality i'm putting at two because it needs to match your game user setting so right now post process quality i'm using two so that's why you see two here and after that you need to add this comment depth of field quality put this one at zero and the game will lo look a lot cleaner uh, it's a bit weird they didn't implement it well i don't know why but my game feel blurry when i use it and when i remove it like that uh it's a lot better so uh, again uh, i will put this comment in my description my video description so you just have to copy paste it but make sure that your post process quality match with your game user setting so that's about it guys if you have any questions just comment in the youtube section post me your rig so cpu ram gpu i will try to help you the best that i can if you guys are coming from canada or even uh, united states uh, you can use my amazon link really important when you click on it and you're about to buy something on Amazon, click on it, go to Amazon, buy your stuff. It will help my channel and I can buy more game to make more videos. Thank you very much, guys, and peace.